Connor here and we're going to work out how to create extra columns in your table. The problem I have here, I've got table six and I want to add in three more columns or three more models, which I'm, I've got three columns for each model. So therefore I've got six columns for the two models here. I want five models, therefore I need 15 columns. So what do you do? First of all, you need to reorientate that to a landscape. So how do we do that? Let's go into layout. Then you click on breaks. We're going to go next page. Then we're going to get orientation and then the landscape. Suddenly we've got a landscape to work with. We delete two, three times to bring that table back into the landscape model. And then we're going to work on this. We're going to expand this table so we can have not just two models but five models represented. Now what I'm going to take you through is a shortcut of how to do this really fast rather than having to create a new table. You don't want to do that because you've got all these right hand side variables, you've got notes and everything. It's going to take you forever to get everything perfect. So what we're going to do is we're not going to worry too much about the top. We're not going to worry too much about the bottom. It's all about let's just get the middle right and then we do some minor edits to fix the top, fix the bottom. That's what I'm going to do. So right now I'm just going to start to add in some columns and you'll find very quickly. Let's have a look. Um, insert columns to the left. Okay, now notice that it's jumping around a bit, but let's just try that again. We're going to insert columns to the right and notice it's taken up all the page. So we can't have that, can we? So let's just bring this right back because we don't want to have too many, too much space taken up by one column. First of all, we want to see what have we got here in terms of what we have inserted? You need to actually show what the borders look like. Ah, so now we know what we have got. Now, can we move that in? Yes, we can. And so there we have, we've moved that in. Now, let's just get rid of that because that is just going to create extra problems if it's going to jump around. So let's just delete that for the moment. Now, that's our our perfect size or closer size to what we want. Remember, we need 15 of these. So let's have get 15 of these made. Remember, we can't go off the page, so be careful. But now we've just got enough. And it's really too wide to send to a journal. So what can you do? Well, you need to actually work on this side and maybe push that in. Now it's possible sometimes your cursor, your mouse, will not show the the column moving item. So what can you do? Well, another way is to actually take the inside row and then move that. Can't even move that. I don't know what's going on here. Let's just Forget about the top. Remember, right, we're focusing on the bottom here. Mm, it's not working. All right, so what can you do if that's not working the way it should work? Well, one way is to, before we do any more, let's just get this evened out. And then we can go to layout. Then we go to distribute columns and suddenly the top is not matching the bottom. Don't worry about that. Remember, we are formatting the middle part at the moment. And it's still wide, it's still too wide. So can we make that narrower? Well, one way is to actually distribute. All right, suddenly that's narrower. And then if we can bring that in there, mm, not working, is it? That's narrow enough for the first one, but now we want to maybe bring this in and make this distribution. Now let's push in from the other area because sometimes it's just hard to push in. So then distribute and we push in again. We push in again and then distribute again. 
pushing push in again and then redistribute again okay so that's our preferred width so you're thinking what am I going to do with the top part don't worry about that because what we can do is the following we can actually create an extra row here and then and this becomes the new this becomes the new mm, I don't know why that is like that the, the T stat should be one two one two three one two three but that's fine that can I think that was caused earlier when we did that All right so now we can get rid of the top part because all we're interested in and is we want to merge uh, those three we want to merge those three selves merge those three selves and then we merge those three selves remember there's different ways of getting around the inability of your mouse to move the rows around and we don't need the bottom we don't need that last column so we can delete that column we did we can delete the entire column all right okay that's fine all right so what what has that given us so now we can actually copy and then we can paste we can copy and then we can paste ah so what about the rest well this is where we go and do copy and then paste and then paste and then paste ah what about the top row well now we delete the top row because instead of trying to make the top row look like the second and third row we have actually created an extra row beneath it which is the perfect format of the middle part and then that becomes the new top row and that's what we're going to do for the bottom row just watch as we do that now we're going to add in an extra row we're going to make it a merge cell and then we take the text not the whole cell and then we move it up and then we format the text we want it both justified and then what do we do after that we delete the last two rows delete delete the entire row and there you have it there's our new table with 15 columns so you're probably thinking well what about all of these vertical lines well we don't want them so what we have to do is the following we should actually go to the borders take all the borders away I mean take all the borders away right and then now we're going to start to add in top border and then bottom border and then we're going to add in bottom border and we're going to add in another border here and then a final border we're going to add in and then we don't need to have a border under the notes so there you have our new table and of course that can be of course populated with the new data as we would expect and for example if you were to expect it to be like that then okay and then of course you're going to have the numbers at the bottom to be updated and there you go so we started with a a two model table in portrait now we've gone to a landscape we've got a five model table we've preserved all the original formatting we have recreated the top part and the bottom part and the main thing is we focused on aligning the middle part and then the top and bottom became after edits when you fixed the size of the middle part in terms of the size of the columns etc and the big trick is actually the use of layout and this 
little trick here called distribute columns. The other trick was creating an extra row and then moving the old top details into the new row to create the new top. And what we did for the bottom, we created a new row, we merged and added in the text into that newly merged row. There you have it. Hope this helps in your formatting of your tables in Word. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.